Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel for the love and for all of the support. I appreciate it all. And then I say, if you are new to my channel, you are highly and very, very, very welcome. And if you have not subscribed, please, I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. You can also follow me on all of my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, all at Stylish Niger. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be doing a beautiful sleeve, if I will call it a beautiful sleeve or a trendy sleeve or a gorgeous sleeve, whatever you choose to call it. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to cut and sew this sleeve and then we're going to be making use of the crinoline. So we can call it a crinoline sleeve. So I, the truth is, I don't know what to call it. So let's just call it whatever. But the sleeve is a beautiful sleeve. Okay, so the materials that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be making use of my tool and then I will make use of a satin. So this is half yard of satin. So that's what I'm making use of. So the first thing you need to do this kind of sleeve, you need your basic sleeve pattern. So for those of you that don't know how to draft a simple sleeve, just a normal straight sleeve. So I will have. I have a video of this, so I'll drop it in the description box, so you can watch it if you don't, for those of you that don't know how to do this. The next thing we're going to do, and I'm going to, we're going to be working, we're going to be taking our measurement from our sleeve pattern, so I'm going to open up, and then we're going to mark, so I already have some markings on it, so I'm going to explain, explain this to you. So just to make the video fast so this is the front of the sleeve this is my front and then this is the back part because it's very important in this video so before i continue if you want to register for our online classes you can see my number scrolling through the screen so you can send me a message on whatsapp so presently we have about seven different classes we have an igbo padded madame igbo blouse class we have a ready to wear class we have a corset class we have an intermediate class a beginner class we have a trouser and a jumpsuit class and then we also have a corset class so you can send a message and then get the details of the classes that are available okay so now let's continue so i'm going to open up my sleeve like this so this is the front and then this is the back so it's just a simple thing so this you just if you notice you notice that the sleeve it actually came like this so what i'm going to do i'm just going to use like a free sketch you understand so i'm just trying to sketch where i'm going to place my my satin that i will add crinoline to so this is the back armhole so this actually came so from the picture that i showed you both for the back and the front this actually came like this and then it cut through the center part of the sleeve and then came to this top part and then enter blended into the back armhole like this you understand so this part of your of the of the flounce if i will use yes because it's actually cut like a flounce we go into that part and then the second one also comes like this just following the same shape so you can just shape this out however you want and then blend into this so you see this is just what we have and then the mouth you are going to trim so it's just simple and when you open it up like this so this is how it's going to come and then it goes into this part so it is a simple process so the next thing now is for us to measure what we have here so in the original picture it was three uh, flounce that was actually done but for this tutorial i'm going to be making use of two because i have i'm using half yard of satin okay so if you want to do what you have on the picture you're going to need about two yards of satin for the both sleeves so I'm going to measure this part like this to know how long that's going to know the size of my crinoline, of my satin. So I have about 23 inches here. So I'm just going to use the 23 inches for the, the boat. Oh, the second one is not up to 23, but I'm just going to cut both of them 23, 23 inches. So now let's cut our flounce. It's a simple, um, I tried this earlier on and it came out well. So you're just going to, so you see how it is going to, to look. I'm just trying to set it properly so you see. So it's just something like this, you understand? And then it goes like this. 
goes like this and then you manipulate it into this part so now i'm going to cut so your plants you can actually cut it however you want to cut it so mine i'm going to use this i actually cut this out in a flip form and then i then trimmed it to the shape so i'm going to use a flip form to cut this out so i have my pattern paper already laid out here so it's the pattern paper i put that in so for folded it into four like this and then you are going to measure the width that you want so this when i try this out i think the width of this was actually okay so i think i'm going to work with this width which is four inches so after sewing and turning it's going to return to about three inches so it depends on how wide you want it to be so on this part like this the, the pattern paper is folded into four you know i said i'm using 23 so i'm just going to divide my 23 i'll divide it into four So I have about six inches here. So I'm just going to mark it like this. It's a simple process. If it is too long, I'll trim it out. That's the beauty of using the pattern paper. So I have my six inches. So the next thing I'm going to measure now is the length. So I said I'm using, I'm going to use, instead of that 3.5, I'm going to use Let's cut it 4.5. So I'm going to cut it 4.5. And so I'll trim it to my desired um, result from my pattern paper before I transfer to my fabric. It's always better that way. So I'm going to place, trim it properly. So I'll just put it like this so that all the parts can be accurate. So I'm going to open this up like this. I'll open it from one side and then see what I have. So you see it is well shaped. So I'm going to pick a part that I'm going to use as the front of my pattern. So on this part like this, I'm just trying to turn it in a nice way. Okay. So on this part, so I'm going to trim, I'm actually going to trim it from here like this. I'm going to trim like this. So doing this actually increases the length that increases the size of my of my pattern paper but i don't have a problem so you see what i have here so the next thing i'm going to trim so at the end of the day on this part i have four inches and then this front part i have about two inches so i'm going to check it on my pattern paper before i do anything on my fabric so i'm going to check it on my pattern so you see what i have so this is how it is going to be stained on so you see it and then it comes like this, it goes like this, and then it comes into this part. So you can see that my the what I cut out is almost perfect. So I'm not going to reduce this. It's better for me to have excess than for, for it not to be enough. So what I'm going to do now, this exact piece, I'm going to transfer into my fabric. So I'm going to cut out four pieces of this. So I'm going to cut out four pieces of this with my satin line. And then I'll cut my sleeve with my tool. So I'll go ahead and do that. Four pieces because I'm going to sew and turn. So that's why I'm cutting out four pieces. Okay, so you see I finished cutting my pieces. So I'm going to take out my patterns now. Just put them on the side. The next thing will go and stitch. So I'm going to take two pieces. So if you want to do three pieces, you can use the same process. Oops, I have a little... I'm just going to trim out this part. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and sew this with a crinoline. So let's go over to the machine. I'll so show you how to sew this. It's a simple process. Okay, so welcome to our table. So you see, I finished stitching this one. So you could see how it is looking because of my crinoline. So I'm going to explain to you. So this is the crinoline that I'm making use of. So the crinoline I'm making use of is about is two inches and crinoline. So it's a little bit thick. It's not the very soft one. So what you are going to do, you are going to take your your satin like this. So this is the the right side. So this is the right this is the right side of my satin. One part is my right side, and then this part is the wrong side. So see all of them. Both of them are sitting on right side, right side facing each other. And then I'm going to take my crinoline like this. I'm going to place the crinoline under. 
like this. So I'm going to, I just want you to watch how I'm going to, how I'm going to be stitching it. So I'm going to use it to follow the shape. So you can use a bigger crinoline, depends on what you want. So I'm just going to keep stitching my crinoline on the edge. Okay, so after stitching, I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. And then I'm going to open up. So this part that is slim, I'm going to narrow it down. And then I'm going to start, I'm going to secure it down. So you see, I'll open it like this now. I'm going to turn, so this part, so this part where you have the edge that I trimmed out, I'm going to do a top stitch just to secure the crinoline down. So I'm just, I've finished stitching it, so I'm just going to turn it down, turn it out, and then I'm going to secure it on the right side, neatly. So this slim part, I'm just going to follow the edge like this. Okay, so I'm going to, st I'm going to start stitching now. So in stitching, so I'm just going to make my, I'm going to make my cuff on my, on my sleeve like this. And then it comes into this part, just like a C. So with this, so you just make your cuff, how you are going to fix it. And then I'm going to start fixing. So from this edge like this, I'm going to place this here. And then I'm going to stitch it to follow. I'm going to stitch it to follow my sleeve. So I'm just trying to open it up and then see it. So I'm, I'll just, I'll take it like this. I'll bring the tips here like this. So when I finish, this side is going to bend towards this way. So I'm just going to use my, my machine. So I'm going to start stitching. So you see it is going to come and enter into the armhole on this part. So you see how it is looking. So you see it is looking beautiful on this side. So I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to do like a top stitch like this. You can actually top stitch it. So I'm going to open it out like this and then I'm going to stitch it down to secure it, to secure the edges, to, to make sure that it is hiding. So just use your hand and open it up. Okay, so I'm done. So you see it's now on this side. So you see there are no more rough edges showing, so it, it is well hidden. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the second one. So the second one, I'm not going to top stitch it, because the first one will hide all of the edges for me. So this I'm going to place here just by the side of the second one like this, and then I'm going to, I'm going to stitch it down. So this now, when I'm stitching this, I'm going to use my own hand to manipulate it from the beginning. I'm going to be closing it. To close the stitch. So it's just going to sit like that. And then I'm going to start stitching. To make sure you open up your sleeve so you don't sew on top just just maintain it on the other on the second one so you see this part so that's why i'm just teaching down so it's going to come and come into this part so i'm just going to trim out so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to join the sleeve that's my sleeve i'm going to join my sleeve together like this now 
on the side and then I'll place it on the mannequin for you to see how it is looking. So I just go ahead and do that. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you could see how our sleeve look like. So you see it on this side. So you see, so you see the back. So this goes into the armhole. Yes, so when I'm stitching, it goes into the armhole at the back of your sleeve. And then you see the side. So you see this side. So you see it, it came out beautiful the way so my crinoline is a, a strong a thicker crinoline so if you want to have very flat flatness you use the soft crinoline so it will be smooth and flat so i'm happy at the outcome of this thing so it came out fine so thank you so much if you find this helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did in this video so thank you so much